In Malachi chapter 3, verse 3, we see that God is pictured as a refiner of our souls. And uh, the refining process, the silversmith, uh, he would take the silver and he would take that silver and put it in the hottest spot in the fire. And many times when we're going through trials and experience of loss or tribulations, uh, you know, death, uh, all these things that we consider, uh, you know, really uncomfortable and we prefer not to go through in life. God has a purpose for that. And that purpose is to purify us, to make us look more like Christ, to have his glory revealed in us through the process. Uh, you know, it's interesting that God loves you so much he doesn't want to leave you in the shape you're in. He wants to change you into the image of Christ. So during that whole process, know that God has his eye on you. The silversmith cannot leave the silver alone. He just can't walk away. So it's a beautiful picture of God looking, even when we're going through these trials and tribulations, that he's watching us, that he has uh, got his eye on us, uh, so much so that um, during that whole process, it's, it's really out of love. You know, James says, in uh, James chapter 1, verse 2, he says, count it all joy. I mean, really? You know, uh, count it all joy when you go through these different trials because we know it produces faith, it produces perseverance, it produces the character of Christ in us. And as the silversmith is sitting there watching the silver being purified, all the impurities melting away, going away from the, the, the process, he knows the very moment, which is why I can't leave, the very moment that he sees his image in the silver, is when it's time to pull it out of the fire. I mean, you see, when we're going through all this, it's just so that the image of Christ, that God can be seen in your life more fully. You can reflect the glory of God. Second Corinthians 3.18 says, we're being changed from glory to glory to glory into the image of Christ. So just rejoice in this. Uh, it's difficult, too, I know. I've been through some of those things in my 64 years in life. Um, but if we keep our eyes on the Lord in the process and we know that uh, it's for our ultimate good, you know, we can rejoice in that. Uh, you know, no temptations or trials. Uh, you know, our human nature is to avoid that to, you know, preferably run from it and let that happen to somebody else, but, you know, not me. <laughs> but during that whole process, uh, you know, God in his love, um, he doesn't want to leave us like we are. And it's a beautiful picture. He loves us that much that uh, he knows we need to be changed and transformed, be renewed uh, so that we can project the image, uh, the image of Christ, that Christ will be more fully reflected through our lives.